Hello there, Facebook. Ham Radio Now. Episode uh, 386, the Hamcation Tour 2018. But before I can start that, I have to get the uh, Facebook stuff shared. And if you're watching live on Facebook or watching later, push that share button, okay? So let's see. We... Trying, trying to find it. Yeah, there we go. Um, so, yeah, you get on here. Oh, my switching isn't working. I have to turn that on. Forgot it. It keeps uh, shutting itself off when when I uh, do things that ma- that make it unhappy. Okay, there we go. And get the title out of the way. Uh, push the share button. That's just going to my wall. They still call them walls. And now on to um, the Ham Radio Now page. I'm not going to say anything extra about it. Sorry. All right, we're going to take a little tour of the uh, Hamcation. It is Saturday morning. Oh, by the way, I'm... I'm guest two. No, I'm, I'm Gary Beer scan for AQ. And uh, yeah, we can talk about Arvin for a second here. I think uh, Ham Radio Now is brought to you by you. They are free to watch. <laughs> got, got it in the right order this time. Free to watch, not free to make. Ham Radio Now brought to you by you. Stop by hamradionow.tv and visit Arvin. Arvin is sitting uh, there on the table. Um, and people have been stuffing money in him. No guest on this episode. I'm just going to play some video that I recorded uh, just a few minutes ago, assuming that that all works. And uh, oh, I'm sorry, Joe. You're, no, you're not here either. Um, oh, yes, yeah, so I'm trying to run everything myself here. There we go. Um, so, uh, yeah, people have been putting money in Arvin, and uh, that's been a pretty good deal. So I recorded uh, a little a short tour just a few minutes ago, and uh, let's uh, go take a look at that. If I can get uh, VLC happily started. Saturday morning, about 8.20, it's so about 40 minutes until opening at 9 o'clock. We're on the way in, not much of a line yet, but uh, it's getting started. Parking lot's filling up. Inside the East Hall, still quiet. Just folks getting set up. Uh, I think we've gone horribly wrong because the east side that, is where the that wasn't the second shot. Oh, uh, I mean, make it stop, please make it stop. The other thing that that I need to apologize for is that um, I forgot to turn on image stabilization on the camera, so I can't yell at Bob Alfin anymore for giving me the uh, Navasa video unstabilized because uh, I just forgot to turn it on myself. All right, so what's the deal here? Looking at the playlist. Oh, it's sorted wrong. That's the problem. It also seems to be having having trouble actually playing just smoothly on the system here, which is kind of overloaded. So uh, let's try this one more time. We'll try that from the from the beginning. You can do it. Forty minutes until opening at nine o'clock. We're on the way in. Not much of a line yet, but uh, it's getting started. Parking lots filling up. I got here early, <clears throat> so the uh, Q Mobile. As a prime spot, and, and here's one of my biggest fans. Oh, you bet! <laughs> Hi. Yeah, parking lot is really filling up. Don't see any competition to the uh, Q-Mobile for antennas, but at least these guys have their antennas mounted in holes on the roof. They are part of the hole in the roof game. 
Oh no, I'm outclassed. The RV zone is popular as always. Full of folks spending the weekend here, long weekend typically. And looking down at the ground, this is very sandy soil. You now we're obviously thinking about all the mud they had at uh, Dayton at Xenia this year, or last year now. Uh, and it does rain down here. People have told me that it gets muddy, but they've never had anything quite like Xenia did. This uh, sandy soil can probably absorb a little better. The flea market itself, or the flea market, is always more spread out in Orlando than uh, just about any place else, but specifically in Dayton, and uh, especially this year where the flea market was very contained. It uh, starts linearly along this road, and of course nothing's cranked up yet because we haven't started. Well, we haven't <clears throat> Kevin cranked up for the uh, crowd, but the vendors who are in here get an early start checking stuff out. Flea market professionals tell me that's the only way to get the really good deals, to get a table yourself and get in early. And then you buy something, mark it up, put it on your table, and sell it again. Is this system for, like, voicemail? Cool already. <laughs> <laughs> Came at the other end of that road, and this is where things branch out. And it's a little bit hard to tell from year to year, but it's looking pretty good. And this space back here, I don't think was much in use for flea market last year. So maybe it's expanding, maybe quite a bit. This is the forum area, at least uh, one of uh, one of two. They've got these three tents. And although uh, the ham fest is now open all day Friday and then all day Saturday and half a day Sunday, so pretty much like Dayton, they only run forums on Saturday. And at Dayton, the new Dayton Xenia, at least what they did last year, put the forums in really big rooms. Uh, none of the forum rooms hold a lot of people. And the popular ones, standing room only, and people uh, will uh, crowd around the entrance and out the door. There is a second forum area. It's way on the other side of the ham fest and then across a field in a, a fairgrounds building. And that has a few classrooms. And again, they're not really big, a little bit bigger than what, well, maybe about the same size as what you got here. Uh, I've been to a couple forums over there. Um, it's a long walk. Uh, they have, you know, shuttle carts <laughs> taking people over there. Uh, but you hardly know about them unless you know about them. The Orlando Hamfest doesn't have a big reputation for rain. It doesn't get washed out. At least not very often. Uh, not it's been a little rain in the years that I've been here, but not uh, not a whole lot. Uh, it's kind of the dry season in Florida. But if uh, you want to make sure that you're not going to get rained out of your flea market spot, they do have this big indoor building. <laughs> Say that again. You're the guy from Ham Radio Now. How would you tell? Uh, just you sound taller on the radio. <laughs> Perhaps because you're so tall. Yeah, there you go. I gotta hold my camera way up to get way up, up to there. I'm Mike V, 3MKX from Toronto. And you watch the show now and then? Yes, I do. It's very informative, very nice. And it's the most important amateur radio program on the internet? As a matter of fact, I was just thinking that. <laughs> Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Great ham fest. All right, so here's the uh, indoor building. Once again, we haven't started yet. About 20 minutes till opening time. Hey, it's air conditioned, it's cool in here. Uh, they may turn on the air conditioning in my building this uh, today. I don't know. It was pretty warm yesterday. Another comparison with Dayton Xenia. This year at Dayton, 
last year at Dayton. The food vending was handled by food trucks and uh, you know, county fair type food vendors. It's always been the case here. This one's open for business and uh, serving up breakfast. Folks are getting an early start. I was going to accuse these guys of just creating a fake name to go along with the ham fest, but no, that's who they really are, wild hogs. So very appropriate that they're serving barbecue at a ham fest. And there's always a row of MCOM vehicles outside the main uh, exhibit hall. Ever taller towers and uh, masts for antennas. This is the main exhibit hall. I don't know that they would want to call it that because there's two, two commercial exhibit halls and they wouldn't want people in the other one that's, that's down there. That's where I am to think that they're like in the overflow. So, and they used to call it commercial one and two in this building and then commercial three. The nomenclature changed this year. This is the East and West building and our East and West, West Hall. And the building that I'm in is now the North Hall. I'm just noticing that for the fairgrounds anyway, they call this building B, but the uh, Ham Hamcation has not adopted that nomenclature. Yeah, there we go, East and West Halls. And about 15 minutes to go. The line is getting longer. This is a different, a different entrance. Inside the East Hall, still quiet. Just folks getting set up. This, the East Side is where the uh, main commercialist commercial exhibitors set up. It's got the pipe and drape, fancy stuff, and the booths are more expensive. They're I think 325, 350, something like that. This is where all the big manufacturers are. The big vendors, there's Kenwood. Flex has a big booth. Uh, Ham Radio Now, first year we were here, had a booth right in here someplace. One of the, I think it might have been this one, because we were right next to QCWA, and I'm sure they never moved. So this probably used to be us. Now the Elad guys, the Italian software-defined radio is here. Dayton guys are here. Finding out how to do it. Well, no, last year they found out how to do it. And they learned their lessons, I think. Except for not having rain. I don't see... Uh... Well, Ham Radio Outlet, MFJ. Heil is here. And ICOM. Okay, so it was Katie I was looking for, and that's Mark from HRO. And he said that I can see Katie when he says I can see Katie. She's here somewhere. Yesu. So the Flex guys are here looking to see if Yesu's got an SDR yet. They don't have one yet, do they? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Craft and their radios are running. I think this is where you take your selfies. Yes, I think this is where you take your selfies. Oh, you, gotta, you, gotta, you want me to do I, that again? I don't, I don't do anything without the camera rolling right. anymore. Hi, everybody. Hey, how you doing? Great, how are you? I was asking over there if you were here, mm -hmm. and Mark says you get to see Katie. When I say you can see Katie. Oh my, he's and, kind of bossy and, that way sometimes. I said he is, <laughs> hasn't been paying any attention to the news lately. <laughs> so yeah, you I was doing? running around grabbing some photos before the day begins. Are, and, you, uh, are you streaming to Facebook Live? I hope so, that's my goal. They were supposed to get the internet issues fixed last night, so hopefully we'll have better issues with bandwidth. Uh, Yesterday I tried and 
I just couldn't get enough bandwidth I, to make I will, it work. I will tell you the secret in a minute when I turn off the camera. Oh, okay, good. That sounds like a good time. <laughs> it's just going to be now. All right. So I just looked at some of the big guys, but obviously there's lots and lots of booths with um, manufacturers you've heard of, some that you've never heard of. Giga Parts doesn't have like a big inventory here. I'm probably going to ship everything. And what I always say is that uh, if if it is made in ham radio, you will find it at Dayton. And uh, you've got a good chance of finding it here, but not quite as good a chance as at Dayton. So I'm standing on carpet. And yes, I'm wearing shorts. <laughs> carpet needs some vacuuming, but... Uh, that means there must be someplace special, and yep, it's the ARL occupying more space than almost ever. The year I didn't get here, the year they did the national convention a couple years ago, they probably had a little bit more space, but they announced that they were going to have a big booth, and they do, although it's only uh, half of this carpeted aisle. Diamond Antenna's got a big booth on the other side. And then you leave the east side and get to a more flea marketish version. You should really go back to my episode one. <laughs> episode one of Ham Radio Now was a, a tour to beat all tours of the Orlando Hamcation. This is where things started. But this is, you know, not really flea market, but vendors that are, and it's, it's a little bit cheaper over here. No pipes and drapes. Um, so all the same hall, but I guess this would be called the west side now. And the year that I didn't make it is because I was getting the flu. And uh, I had already contracted for this booth right here. It was going to be here. Um, they were worried that with the air conditioning above it, there'd be a lot of noise. But uh, it doesn't sound too loud here. But I don't think I'll be back to this booth. So this is, well, first of all, this, we know him. I know him, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know him. <laughs> this is uh, where Wireless Holdings, the DV Mini and DV right. Mobile guys were last year. Right. And there's nothing there now. And yeah. we're spec I, have you looked at the vendor list? Were they on the list? I have not looked at the vendor list, no. I guess I got to do that. I, well, I take that back. I looked at the vendor list like a month ago, and they were not on there. Okay, um, so, so it's unusual that the tables would still be empty then. Right. Yes. Yeah. So. so I yeah, that's definitely where they were last year, and because uh, you and I spoke to them last year, we did, and and I spoke to them again in Dayton last year. It's like yeah, anytime now. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. So, this, uh, this is not good news. No, uh, I'm sure it's not. So, and he took a, he he took a bunch of pre-order down payments, like thirty-five dollar down payments, both on his website and I think Gigaparts was doing it too. And then they, they, after like, I don't, I don't remember how long it was, maybe six months, maybe a little bit longer, they cut it off and they said, okay, we pre-sold more than the first batch is even going to be. So they wouldn't let you pre-order them anymore. And that was a year ago yeah. that they stopped Well, that, hams so. will complain about $35 forever, but that's really not much. No, no. You know, that's yeah. sort of a, it's like a Kickstarter gamble. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, I mean, I wouldn't mind, I didn't get in on that because I was going to try to get one from one of those guys for a video review, but uh, had I known they were going to take forever, I probably would have put down my $35 so I could be part of the first crew, but I'm sure they'll, you know, they have demo radios every place they go, so they've got them. It's just, I think they're trying to get all the bugs worked out before they release. Okay. Well, so I think, I'd like to see them come out. They're going to be expensive. I won't be in, oh, yeah. in the market for one, at least not right away, but yeah. uh, I'd like to see them come out. So you got video going in the background and it's been buffering. The Wi-Fi in here is, t is not very good. Yeah. It, cr it crashed three or four times yesterday. You see how it's all fuzzy and pixelated, like low res? The video doesn't look like that. That's because of my internet signal right now. <laughs> okay, yeah, across the hall, it's pretty good. Maybe that's a good, oh, re well, good reason okay. to be over there. Okay. But not on 2.4 gigahertz. You no. gotta be on five gigahertz. Yeah, I, should, I, I guess I should switch and try it and see if that's any better. Yeah. I told you all the right, secret. I'm going back to work. All right, have fun. See ya. And I am going to the North Hall. So 
So the Hamfest opened for business. I got. I, I want to try not to say so at the beginning of every recording here. Uh, Hamfest opened for business while I was uh, talking to folks inside the east and west halls, and this is the north hall. And folks are heading in, so let's take a quick look at that. So here we are inside the north hall. Pretty much sold out. Uh, my, my neighbors, the antenna guys, have showed back up while I was uh, out roaming. And there's the Ham Radio Now booth with uh, still no lights above it. So they weren't able to fix that. I'll show you what I got set up. It's actually playing some video here for people walking by and the volume turned hopefully appropriately low. Arvin is sitting there. Old Gnome came along. And the studio in the booth is back here. Two microphones on this side. Two mics on that side and the little control room. The uh, air monitor. These are the lights I got at Walmart to fill in a little bit of light in this dark corner. And uh, get over to the control room. So there's my monitor for websites and Skype. The laptop that's running everything and the mixer. My microphone. I sit a guest next to me. We've got to share a camera position. Oh, and there's what I'm doing for the cameras. This little uh, Logitech C920 webcam, so on these goosenecks, that if you bump the table, they just flop around for a while. So three of those cameras, those two, one, this one pointed at the guest, this one pointed at me and a guest next to me if I have one. And this one is the one that takes the overhead shot of uh, people there and I don't, don't have to set up cameras and I don't have to edit afterwards and that was my goal. All right, back to you, Gary. Thank you, Gary. And again, I'm going to apologize to everybody for, uh, first of all, for getting to turn on image stabilization and also the, uh, the playback wasn't, uh, wasn't all that good anyway, so maybe you couldn't tell. So our Hamcation Tour 2018, just a quick look around what the uh, ham fest has looked like. While that video was playing, some folks came up and said, "Hey, I want to be on. Uh, I want to be on TV." So we have, we have oh, that camera is not in a very good good spot for it. But we have a guest here, and I don't have a okay. title set up on the uh, system for you because I didn't know you were didn't know you were coming. If you knew I was coming, you would have a title. Yeah. So climb right up on that mic. It's noisy in here. Okay. Here you go. There. That's much better. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you? I am Dennis uh, K1. LGQ. A good way to remember that is one last good question. Oh, A did you know? One L G Q. And I am known nationwide for answering questions. That's too many. K N four A Q. Known nationwide for answering questions. <laughs> so well, uh, I have the the last good question. Okay. And, go and what is the what is the last good question? Oh, uh, why are we here? I flew in last night from New Hampshire. Oh. And uh, and boy, are your arms tired? But um bum. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, do you know my buddy Bert? No. K one O Y K. No, I don't. Okay, because I thought he that maybe you were a messenger from him to come down here and well, give me now, grief. Gary, I, now that you recall, he, he told you to get out of town, and I see you're still here. So. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I am. This is my swan song. This I'm is going to get out of town. So, why did you want to come on the show? Uh, because uh, it was uh, yesterday. It was four degrees in New Hampshire. <laughs> okay. I uh, asked my, uh, my YL, my girlfriend, I said, would you like to go to Orlando? And uh, she didn't breathe but a half a second, and she said, yes. So um, Jean and I, her call is K1AVM, Ava Maria. Okay. And she said, uh, let's go. So here we are. So we flew in last night, and I've never been to uh, the uh, Orlando Ham Fest. And, um, I'm happy to oh, be here. And, and I make I made you sit here in the booth forever until you that video did, finished and I running. I tell you, Jean walked away. She said, I'm not doing this. So she didn't want to be on camera. She didn't want to be on camera. So I get that from a lot of women. We'll be there fair about that, you know. Okay. So, so the, uh, the, the station at home is pretty much all ICOM. 
and I pretty much uh, have Okay, a, so this is an ad for ICOM. I didn't know that. Well, I don't know. This is just simply, you know, rag chewing. You say, you know, what are you, what are you running on the other end? So yeah. it's the... Yeah, um, so we've done the weather. We've done the rig. Oh, I'm not through with the weather. You already did. You said it's four degrees in New Hampshire. It, uh, today, Saturday, it's gone up to 50 from my, uh, <clears throat> my correspondence on my cell phone. <laughs> okay. And tomorrow it's going to be 25 to 30. In so rain. Seesaw. Yeah, so we're, yeah. Uh, we're we're happy to be in Orlando where it's 70 degrees, and uh, I haven't worn shorts in, uh, uh, probably since uh, September. Yeah, it's going to probably be like 80 today, I think, or 80, 84, I think, was the I predicted high. I feel the moisture coming now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's, and, and they don't have, the other hall, the air conditioning is pretty good, but it's still not very good in this hall. This is the hall. first hall we've been to. We have uh, only walked in from the car. We went to a flea market. We saw our, our people selling paints and plants and vegetables, <laughs> and we said, this isn't the flea market I remember back at home. So we found There's the, radios out there. Oh, well, they're, they're probably hidden underneath the vegetables. So we um, said, uh, let's keep going, and this is where we ended up. And we walked around, we put our ticket in the booth, and we were actually heading out, and I said, Gene, let's stop and speak to Gary. Okay, so you apparently have watched the show once or twice before. Once or twice before, have, yep. And what is your favorite ham radio media show? No pressure. I don't really have a favorite. You know, it's just something you tune in, you listen, and you leave. Okay, so would you agree with me, though, that this is the most important amateur radio This is radio the most program? important. This is the buzzword back at home. This is the one that people talk about the most. Really? If you had to pick one, you know, ham radio now is really what everybody is tuned into. Uh, and, you know, I had my fingers crossed that you weren't going to say ham nation. Oh, no, no, ham, <laughs> ham nation. Uh, in fact, the, you know, the, uh, the, the, the DJ at ham nation isn't even half as good looking as you are. <laughs> there we go. All right. Well, Dennis, thank you very much for coming by. The uh, home QTH is Brookline, New Hampshire. So say hi to everybody up there. And, uh, and yeah, your wife, who didn't want to be on camera. That's my girlfriend. Don't tell her. Your girl, oh, so you did, if that's your girlfriend. You didn't bring your wife. <laughs> 25 years ago, we pied okay. it, and I haven't been unhappy since. She, she didn't want to be on camera, but she's on camera. Well, slide over that way just a little bit. There you go. Now you're really on camera. There she is. Uh, there okay. she is. Yeah. Okay. You, you want to wave hi? Okay, but oh, she doesn't okay. want to talk. You want to say something? Uh, now she wants to talk. What is that from Boston? Oh, from oh, all right. Boston. Boston. Boston, yes. All right. That's where we roll our eyes. <laughs> That's the A I I L. So, so yeah, do you, you know my little buddy, Marty? KC1 Chicken with Fries? <laughs> no. He's, he's in, in Boston. The Boston, the Boston area. Boston, yes, we say Boston, yeah. You, All right. And we say Worcester, not Worcester. 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 Worcester, no, no, like no. Rooster. Worcester. Wor Wor <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can tell a, a phony. Yeah, uh, you, yeah I, I would never be able to pass. All right, well, thank you for stopping by. Gary, thank you very much. We'll and say, I, um, I'm going to finish up the show here. We'll say 7 3, and I'm going to be on my way. All right, thanks. Have a good ham fest. Okay, bye bye. Well, you can get up and go. <laughs> and I'll switch things back to me. And, um, yep, yeah, see ya. Thank you. <laughs> Live television. All right, so that is, that'd be it. Uh, was that me? Oh, yeah, there I am. Gary Pierce, scan 4 aq Hammer you now, as I've mentioned. And, uh, you know, get a shot of uh, Arvin sitting over there on the table. Ham Radio Now is brought to you by you. It is free to watch, not free to make. There we go. I got that right. AmRadioNow.tv is the place to go. And um, hope you enjoyed the little stuttery tour of the Hamfest. I'm getting the titles working better now. It, I was supposed to have the uh, the title that rolls through at the beginning working, but I can't make that play. I'll do, spend a little more time on it. Most everything else seems to be working pretty well. Uh, but I don't have the end thing. So all I can do is say over and out.